I guess um, the universe is sending me some pretty clear signs. Hello, and welcome to the second channel where chaos abounds. I've decided that I need one of these in my life and uh, have taken it upon myself to create one. So I've been wanting to do this one for a while. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, I guess you know better than I do because you've seen the thumbnail already, but uh, isn't that weird that you guys can see into the future more than like you guys know better at this point if it works than I do, but whatever. Anyway, um, let's talk about the material we're gonna be using. Liquid glass, deep pour. Oh, this one's sticky. Uh, I got this stuff because it's I can pour it much deeper than my other stuff. Um, I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've had problems in the past. <laughs> Probably because I was using the very wrong material for the job, uh, this. And uh, let's just say we had some problems with um, chemical reactions. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like that when you're done. There's lots of bubbles and uh, smoking. But anyway, but I think we're gonna mix this up and uh, I love resin carving. So we're just gonna like car, you know, cast a big brick of the stuff and carve it into what we need. And then we'll go from there. I have the perfect container for it. It's unfortunately gonna be one time use. After we cast it, we're gonna have to cut the thing out. All right, well, let's get to mixing and making and hope we don't almost burn the shop down again. It is poured and looking glorious. That's a beautiful color. Very happy with it. I'm sure it looks blue in the camera, but I promise it's purple. <laughs> so, okay, all right, at this point, I gotta address it. I'm sure most of you are gonna be like, why don't you put it in a vacuum chamber or a pressure pod? And there's really no easy way to say it. Oh gosh, uh, I don't have one. Wow, that was easy. So at this point, I guess we just put it up somewhere away from dust. Actually, you know what? I don't, dust doesn't even matter. It's all getting carved anyway. Go put it in the dustiest spot you can find and let it cool. Well, not cool, but cure for like three days. So we will be back, and you will be a Gengar soon. What took mere seconds for you took three days for me. So now we have to figure out how the heck we're going to get this thing out. Um, yeah. <laughs> eh. There's a chance I didn't think this through. Eh. Eh. Oh no. There, easy as pie. So I don't know how to get this off on the bottom. But it's fine, honestly, because we need to go to the belt sander anyway, so that we can reshape this, because I don't want those those ridges. So let us do that. Alrighty, I think we are good to start. So I'm gonna grab, where are they? Where are they? These, which are my, oh, come on, my, burrs for wood working uh but here's the thing they work great for resin so we're gonna use these and i guess we're just gonna create a pokemon real quick i've changed my mind for rough shaping this is not gonna work we need more power you know what I think even this is not enough power. So let's use more power. That uh, might be too much power. There we go. There's a happy middle ground. All right, now let's start. Alrighty, well, I believe we have achieved our rough shape. Before, it was a block of resin. Now, it's a Gengar-shaped block of resin. So, 
At this point, I believe we can grab our more uh, detail-oriented uh, burrs and start actually doing the thing that they're meant for, which is detail. We have ourselves a Gengar. Almost. I actually am very, very satisfied with the way it came out. It's almost done. But before we uh, start sanding and doing our other stuff, there is something that needs to happen, and that is eyeballs. And I have a plan for eyeballs. Okay, so we have it sanded and we have the eyes in and um, yeah, you can see there's still some scratches visible but that's actually not going to be an issue because of the way we're going to polish it, which is to say we're not going to polish it. We're going to give it a resin coat and that will hide all of those scratches. But I accidentally went too deep with the eyes with the resin, which is good because now they're nice and flush, but the issue is um, the eyebrows filled in. So I need to redo those. Time for details. And there's not really a whole lot, it's just these little eyebrow thingies, his lines around his mouth, and then the lines between his teeth. And I guess we should probably paint the teeth too. And the trick for that is going to be, I believe, enamel paint. I thought that acrylic might um, let light pass through. I work with acrylic a lot, and I am not confident that it wouldn't, you know, glow a little bit. I thought the enamel might do better for that. I don't know. This is all theoretical. He is done. Well, kind of. We have to make a base. Also, notice how there's giant pitting? Like, obviously, because the, the mouth and teeth and eyebrows are a trench. That actually will not matter when we do our top coat, and you'll see what I mean by that. But for now, we need to make uh, a base, and I think I know what to do. I lovingly confiscated a log from the river, and I think this is gonna be pretty. It'll be good stuff to work with. This is cottonwood, which is a dream to carve with because it's so soft and the grain is so uniform. It's wonderful. So I think we're gonna do some like shadowy, wispy stuff, you know, of a sort. And yeah, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. So I'll just show you. Okay, so the base is done being carved and sanded. I gave it a good old sandily sand up to like, I don't know, I think it was like 320. Anyway though, that's not the point. The point is, this is not the wood that I thought it was. I thought it was cottonwood driftwood. The moment I started carving and realized how hard this wood was, realized it was not. Turns out it is some absolutely beautiful cedar. The original plan was to paint this whole thing black so that it would look all smoky. But I can't do that to this grain. This grain is beautiful. And plus, just like this, it kind of looks like a, you know, all knotted up like tree or something. Spooky tree, Halloween tree, even though it's June. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just do an oil finish on this. We 
have this shaped. Which means the only thing left to do is finish the whole project. So I want some LEDs in there. So um, we're gonna take this here USB cable, type C of course, and um, sacrifice it to the gods that bear light. Well, it is done. We have all of our wiring in there and it's looking good. I'm not gonna show you yet. So, all that is left to do is put our glaze coat of resin over Gengar and we are done. Alrighty, well, there is our vaguely spherical spooky tongue spirit monster. And I'm very happy with how it came out. I think it's freaking awesome. And I'm really happy I decided not to do anything with the wood. That wood is gorgeous and it, I don't know, it just kind of adds to the spooky vibe. You also may notice that that, that is not the cord that uh, I put in originally. That's because one of the LEDs burned out and I thought it was a perfect moment to swap him to a more uh, fitting color. Man, the way this thing glows, that resin is so nice. I love it. Definitely gonna be working with that stuff again in the future, probably because I still have like a gallon of the stuff left. So <laughs> expect to see it again at some point. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also down in the comments, leave me some suggestions for uh, potential next projects. I'm all for anything um, cool or pop culture related. And we have wood, clay, and uh, stone at our disposal, so. You know, nothing's off limits. Uh, within reason, I guess I should, you know, specify. You can ask me to create something that's 19 feet tall, but I don't know that I'll say yes. I might say yes, but I don't know if I'll do it. I'm sure most of you probably came here from the main channel, but for any of those that, of you that came here first, I actually have another channel where I post weekly. Uh, Theo Kellison, the link will be in the description. Like that smash button if you enjoyed, and um, consider subscribing because we are just just getting the ball rolling. I'm already uh, done with three more projects and I'm started on two more. So there's a lot more cool stuff to come with the new channel. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming and watching this video. It was a fun one to make. And I am very, very excited to show you all the next one. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.